Hi, this video will demonstrate how to troubleshoot different issues in Quest Migration Manager. First we will go to the domain pair properties and analyze them. We verify the settings. If the credentials are specified not good, we will not be able to commit with OK. Sometimes skipping objects is causing the issue. We check if our object is not a disabled or expired account. Sometimes resolution rules are ca causing issues and uh, allowing the tool to match objects is very important. Then we verify the service attributes. We verify them for different object classes. Then we examine the synchronization properties. The directory synchronization agent we are using is the most important part of our synchronization. All the work is being done by this agent. We verify our synchronization scope and make sure our object is included in the synchronization scope. Under set filters we can verify if our object classes are included in synchronization if we are not excluding this user and in case we are using custom LDAP filters we make sure they are capturing our objects. We analyze our settings, security settings. If for example we are skipping the UPN then the target user will have a blank UPN and this could explain some issues. If we are not synchronizing anything back to source, we don't have to worry about the target scope. If we are using a custom add-in, it is a good idea to s stop using it and verify if the tool is working better without this add-in. Skipping some of the attributes is often causing issues. If the object is not getting created, we verify if we are not skipping any of the vital attributes. For example, if we skip the group type attributes, the group will not get migrated and if we are skipping some important attributes for user objects, they will not be created. If we are mail enabling accounts and something is not working properly, we verify the exchange options. We can go to our root level in the project and if we are using delegation, we verify our account has appropriate rights. Those are the permissions to access the Adam. We can add another account if we are not sure. Now we will go and examine our directory synchronization agent because all the work, synchronization, migration is being performed by this agent. If the credentials are not good, if the password has been changed, we can change them here. Here and only here we can specify which domain controller the tool will use in the source and in the target domain. It is a good idea to verify if the tool is allowed to synchronize during this specific period of time. Then we will go to the project and open the project. This will start the wizard. Here we can verify all our settings. We check if we can retrieve our project. And in case the credentials have been changed, we can retype them here. Here we can see the credentials for the statistics portal and here we analyze the summary. The tool informs what exactly will be used when connecting to which part of the tool. It is very important that we finish this wizard. If we don't finish the wizard, we will not be able to connect to our project. Let's go to the directory synchronization agent machine directly. Here we have an option to navigate to the program files, Quest Software Migration Manager, DSA. There is a configs folder and here we will find the directory synchronization agent's log file. This log will contain all the information about migration and synchronization. We can run a quick search and find our object and verify if this object has been matched by the tool. 
and we can see absolutely everything what the tool is doing. If we are troubleshooting group membership population, it is a good idea to analyze the link resolver log file. This log informs us about absolutely every step the tool is performing, which object in this case we can see that the member has been added to the group. Here we can see that the tool resolved the public delegates attribute and here we can see that the modification was successful from the previous step. If we have the, DS, uh, the Adam installed on the same machine, we can go and have a quick look at the Adam database. The DIT file. If the file is too big, we need to make sure that the defragmentation is working properly. Then we open the computer management console and here we can examine our Adam instance if it's working properly, if defragmentation is occurring periodically. This is especially important if we have an Adam replica. And here we will find a separate node for DSA. For people who don't want to read the log files, they will find all the essence here in the event viewer. The tool informs about every issue. In this case we can see this conflict is not critical, but we can see some errors, so if we scroll down, we can analyze our error. Again, this is a nice alternative to the log file. If you go to the services and type Q, we will find our quest services. Director Synchronization Agent has six services. They are not always all up and running, but when troubleshooting we can stop them and start them. We will also find our RAM agent service as a controller service on this machine. The agent gets installed only when updating resources. It is good to know that the tool during the directory synchronization is using the utilizing the message queue. Here we will find a private queue which is named exactly as our directory synchronization agent machine. And here we can see the queued messages. If there are too many we can purge them when troubleshooting and then resynchronize again. If we notice some issues with the message queuing and the log file cannot send to the message queue or there are too many messages piling up, we can go and increase the storage limit. Usually I just double the value. In this case the first digit is 8 so we can put 16. To be on the safe side I will put 17. This is not a rule, it is up to you how you increase the storage limit. We will have to restart the services in. When troubleshooting different synchronization issues, we can go and uh, click on the conflicts or failed objects and we will get some additional information. We will see our failed or conflicting objects. If we go to the Quest Knowledge Base, we will find an article which explains that Quest offers a special tool which can be used to retrieve this information about the failed objects. You don't have to memorize them, you can export them to a file. We can also troubleshoot our migration sessions. We can go to the properties of the migration session and analyze all the settings. Often the issues are being caused by skipping some of the attributes. When we go to the summary we can see our failed objects and we can press view log file and analyze the log file entries. The log file is being created on the fly by connecting to the Adam database and displayed as a website. Here we can see the seed was not applied to the object. Microsoft lately is 
verifying the uniqueness of the seed across the Active Directory. In the past, multiple objects could have the same seed. Now, not anymore. So the tool helps us and tells us which object already has the seed applied, and this means we cannot apply the same seed to the seed history of another object. In this case, the tool informs that some objects already have the same SAM account name, and Active Directory doesn't allow to create two objects in the same OU with the same SAM account name. After analyzing this log file, we should be able to resolve the issue. We can go and, for example, undo our migration. We don't have to undo for absolutely all users. We can just select our affected users and undo them. Another option is to use them um, statistics. We can open our project and the tool will retrieve and show all the information about our migration synchronization. Here we will find the same result what we have seen in the GUI and we have an option to analyze and export our failed objects. We can export them to a comma separated value file. Once we click here, we have the option to save this file. And if we have used any tasks or wizard, we can switch to the resource processing tab. And here we can look up the information about our tasks. We can find the statistics for our Active Directory processing task. It will be displayed in the same format. Or we can switch to the Exchange processing task and look up the information.